So Acer has just launched a full 2020 refresh for some of its biggest and best gaming laptops, including these two wee beasties here, the Predator Triton 300 and the Predator Helios 300, which now both come packing 10th gen Intel chipsets and the option of 240Hz visuals, all for a rather nice price. Now I actually had a chance to go hands-on with Acer's fresh new Predator Triton 300 and Helios 300 ahead of the full global launch, coronavirus be damned. And unfortunately we weren't allowed to do any proper benchmarking or gaming on these laptops as is a real shame but I'm hoping to bring you full reviews soon and in the meantime this is just a rundown of the specs and the features on both of these laptops and how they stack up and for more on the latest greatest tech please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell cheers now design wise it has to be said the Helios 300 and the Triton 300 look really freaking similar a few little design frills and features aside it is actually pretty tricky telling the pair apart when they're side by side these 2020 models basically rock the same finish as the previous generation quite subdued overall for gaming machines beyond of course that light up lid logo. As usual the Helios 300 comes in a choice of two different sizes 15.6 or 17.3 whereas the Triton 300 you're stuck with that 15.6 inch size but should hopefully still be enough to satisfy. And both of these Predator gaming laptops are also impressively slim and light as well considering the smarts stuffed inside that's definitely helped along by the lightweight aluminium alloy chassis. Those 15 inch models both weigh around the two kilogram mark so they shouldn't put your back out when you're lugging them around. And it's the same standard selection of ports whatever your choice of gaming and laptop too. You get an Ethernet port for wide connections, you get three USB-A ports and one USB-C and you also get HDMI and mini display port for outputting to a 4K display or whatever you fancy. And it's an IPS screen built into both of these gaming machines too, framed by slender bezels down those left and right edges. You don't get a 4K option here, but those Full HD visuals are pretty damn crisp. I didn't get a chance to get my hands on any games annoyingly, but video certainly looks pleasingly sharp with plenty of fine detail on display. The base model of both of these laptops comes with a 144Hz refresh rate, but you can throw a bit more cash at Acer if you like and boost that up to a 240Hz refresh rate if you like. It won't really help me with my knackered old eyes and alcohol dampened reaction speeds, but hopefully you youngins will get a slight advantage in your Call of Duties or your PUBGs. And if you snaffle the Triton 300 well that apparently offers a full 100% coverage of the sRGB gamut as well which is great news if you want to edit photos or video when you're not busy capping fools online. And both of these Acer laptops pack the latest 10th gen Intel Core H series processors as well unlike the base version of the MacBook Pro. Hey, screw you Apple. And you get a choice of chipsets as well with both of these gaming machines going up to a Core i7. The models that I personally played with had the Intel Core i7 10750H slapped inside. As for your memory, well both of these Acer laptops come with the option of up to 32GB of onboard DDR4 RAM, not DDR5 sadly. And to avoid throttling, Acer has stuffed in its 4th generation Aeroblade 3D fans the same as the previous gen Helios and Triton. So as before, these laptops should hopefully stay nice and cool even during a prolonged Long and intensive gaming session. And on the Mac setting as well, yeah, there's a fair bit of noise generated, but it doesn't sound like these laptops are about to take off and blast into outer space or anything. And as for the GPU, well, you've got a choice of different SKUs again with both the Triton 300 and that Helios 300, but both of these laptops come with an option of up to a GeForce RTX 2070 stuffed inside, giving more demanding users some serious graphical grunt. And of course, you've got Acer's Predator Sense app on board as well, which gives you full control over the fans, and you can also overclock the GPU when pushing the laptops to their limits, something that can also be achieved by poking this here turbo button on either machine. You can also customise the keyboard, backlight, and other sides not for individual keys, only the four separate sectors. And speaking of those keyboards, they're basically identical on the Triton and the Helios. You get a dedicated keypad on both and it's quite a firm action overall. Now to the sexy subject of storage and the Helios 300 supports dual SSDs in a RAID formation and can even take an internal hard drive of up to two terabytes in size. And meanwhile, the Triton 300 has space for three separate SSDs inside that metal chassis as well. So no worries whatsoever if you want a good selection of games to play on the moon. So if you're tempted by a bit of Acer Predator Helios 300 2020 action, good news is you don't have long to wait. It's going to be available globally from July for 1,200 British pounds, 1,200 dollars or 1,300 euros. And if you want the Triton 300 instead, well again that is coming to the UK and Europe next month and that will be starting from 
200 pounds or 1,400 euros. However, American peeps will unfortunately have to wait until September for the Triton 300 and you can expect to once again be around the $1,300 mark. So that's an early look at the fresh new Predator Triton 300 and Helios 300 2020. And so far they're looking like solid gaming laptops if your budget is rather restricted. But definitely stay tuned for my full reviews to see what I think was about a proper chance to benchmark and blast the shit out of them. And for more of the latest greatest tech, please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers.